Do you like guns? Bizarre? Amphibians? Placing your species on the top of the food chain? Then I think we have something special here. Hello you glorious gamers and welcome to my review of Axolotl. This game is a bullet hell roguelite featuring axolotls. And these axolotls are armed to their gills and weapons. So prepare for a lot of bullets. What stands out about this game are the many cute axolotls. I mean just look at... Uh, bad example. Axolotl is developed by Two Awesome Studio and published by Playstack. Thank you to them for the review copy. Now, let's dive in. The story? Well, there isn't really much focus on that. Baby axolotls are stolen, which is apparently fine. But someone dared to steal your food. So you are going on a roaring rampage of revenge, armed to the teeth. You set out against adorable woodland creatures and critters, who are similarly armed. Everyone has guns here. Axolotl has you progressing through different biomes, clearing arena-like rooms before you eventually face that biome's boss. As a roguelite, you are expected to clear all the biomes and bosses in a single run, in order for that run to count as a success. So no dying, or you start again. Luckily, it is a roguelite, so you can unlock permanent upgrades and other things to help you in future runs. Like new weapons, after completing a room, you are presented with various icons at the doors to the next room. The diamond ones threw me for a bit of a loop. I could not understand why I kept wiping out. Turns out, these are challenge rooms. Go figure. I thought they provided diamonds. Well, they do. But I didn't expect the challenge to be such a jump. I wish the hitbox or the bullets were a bit smaller. Dodging is fine, but I like to thread the needle between bullets and shotgun shots. Even when they eventually spread out, it almost seems to require dodging. I did get better as time went on, but I stick with my issue. The triangle currency is called Doraditos. It's hilarious. The Doraditos are the currency you spend mid-run. While in the hub, you have access to three different currencies. Doraditos are in-run only. First, you get the diamond, which you use to buy new weapons and abilities from the cat and dog vendors. Then you get the hearts, which are the happiness you siphon from the babies. These are used to get permanent upgrades. So, necessary to progress, basically. Lastly, are cookies. These are used to give specific axolotls weapon specializations, increasing damage with those weapons and making them drop more often. The rest of the symbols are used in cooking. Oh yes, I should probably explain that also. Cooking is used to grow your axolotl teenagers to adulthood. Meals give axolotls a class, which determines their shield, health, run speed, and passives, while a dessert will give them specific abilities to use in battle, such as healing or laying a decoy. But let's talk axolotls. You can find new baby axolotls during runs. Then you can hatch them and keep them in their axolotl pens. You must nurture them and not neglect them in order to make their happiness meter grow. You use this meter to grow them into teenagers or siphon it to give yourself permanent upgrades. Although your baby axolotls will sleep for a long time afterwards, I guess this is to avoid quickly grinding it. it takes a couple of runs for them to wake up. Touching enemies will damage you. Not a fan of that. You can dodge through them, but that is a design choice I think hinders melee build. I mean, some enemies don't show much sign they're going to shoot. Looking at you, foxes, and being that close leaves you blasted. Although melee weapons when used can destroy bullets. I do feel that some of the arenas are a bit cramped, especially considering the size of the projectiles flying towards you. This game is full of references, from Hello Kitty to being Rickrolled. I do love the One Punch Man reference. That one is hard to miss, but probably my favorite. I love that different axolotls don't just serve as ways for you to change appearance, but to make build. I made the Draco axolotl an assault rifle specialist even giving it the Assault Rifle specialty for more Assault Rifles and extra damage. But in the same vein, I think not giving the different axolotls unique abilities is a missed opportunity. Like giving the Banana Axolotl the ability to occasionally throw out an explosive banana or something. While Axolotl has multiple biomes and enemies, the bosses are really the star of the show. And while they are good fun, and often amazing references, I cannot help but wish there was at least more than one boss per biome. Even if it was just two that swapped between each other every run, it would naturally increase the variety, as well as the complexity of runs. Maybe I am just being greedy by wanting more fun bosses and references. However, I then saw the roadmap for the game. New enemies, new weapons, new axolotls, and most importantly, alternate bosses. Also pets. So, while I did feel that the game was a bit light on content, with these updates, I'm sure it will become a meaty package. I am not the best at bullet hells or roguelite, 
So I did lower the difficulty midway through the game. From axolotl mode to axolittle mode. Axolotl mode is a standard mode designed for those experienced with roguelite action shooters. While axolittle mode is more for the beginners. Giving you more health, increased damage and more healing from healing spots. Personally, I found the standard mode a touch too difficult and the beginner mode a bit too easy. I'm hoping in a patch they can include an axo middle mode, perhaps giving half the benefits of the beginner mode. That would be the perfect middle ground. I have always been a fan of good pixel-like art styles. This game ticks that box. I love the axolotl's design, or should I say designs, since there are so many of them. I do wish some of the animations for your character would be smoother, but that's about it. It's a game of charming animals wielding lethal weaponry. It leans into that. No matter how absurd a hamster shooting a rifle is, it has a cute art style that is not afraid to shed some blood. I love the music that plays during your runs, the heavy guitar. It actually perks me up and gets me ready to go. Well, I can say that the weapons sound suitably explosive. I had no problem with them, or the rest of the sound design in the game, which is definitely better than having a problem with it. From what I have experienced, this game runs well in the Steam Deck. It supports cloud saving, and swapping from PC to Steam Deck is a breeze. No options need to be changed. Although Axolotl does not support the Steam Deck's native resolution, you need to play at 720p. Battery life for this game is excellent. At 60 FPS, at full charge, I could get just under 6 hours of playtime, which I think is very good. There are some things I liked and did not like in this game. My nitpicks and soft spots if you will. I don't like how pixelated the font style is. Bit of a gripe there, but I can't help it. As I mentioned before, I found the stages a bit cramped and the projectiles a tad too large. I wish it was easier to tell when your ability is ready to use. I keep trying to use it in critical moments, only to realize it was not available and get blasted. Also, not really a fan of how the grenade launcher works, but that is me. Now onto some positivity. What I did like is that you can pet the baby axolotls. That is a plus in my book. I like that they are going to continue supporting the game with more content and updates. Also, I am a fan of the varied colors. Yes, I know. I am not that complicated a person. Can one of my likes be the axolotls themselves? Well, it is my review, so I'm going with it. So, how would I rate axolotl overall? I find it to be a good game. It is cute and fun. I will say that the beginner mode ruins some of the challenge, while standard is a tad too much for me. Which is why I would love another option, an axo middle mode if you will. And while I did find axolotl slightly thin on content, the roadmap plans to change that. This is a game that I can recommend. Its price is not too bad on Steam either. I get that one more run kind of vibe from Axolotl. If you are still here and found this video helpful, entertaining, or just good, please consider liking and subscribing. It will really help me out. Thank you for watching.